Hey Spirit Tribe, Gigi here with Spirit Readings and I'm so glad and so happy that you're able to join me here today. We are going to be taking a look at the week up ahead for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, wherever you happen to have Aquarius in your birth chart or if you're a cross watcher wanting to check in on an Aquarius. Now please keep in mind that there are so many of us so not everything may resonate and that's perfect perfectly okay you know set it to the side for someone else you know we never want to force things to fit feel right and work when they just don't you know we saw right on out the door with that mess all right okay if it doesn't apply you just go on ahead and you let her fly um everything that you need to know about this reading or uh how to get a hold of me the tarot decks i use you can find all of that in the description so Make sure you check that out, you guys. All right, Aquarius. Let's see what is going on with you for this week up ahead. Okay, first up we have the Knight of Pentacles. That is my favorite knight. All right. Let's see. We do have the Five of Wands. The Nine of Wands and the three of pentacles all right two more here spirit for aquarius we do have the queen of swords coming through as well and, oh, and the ace of cups so all right wow some good energies uh, coming out here so let's see what the theme of your week up ahead is okay so we do have uh this five of wands uh coming through here which does you know represent some conflicts going on you know so um not wanting to do you know damage or harm to anyone else you know it, it feels like a um like a test of wills a test of egos here and you know trying to um oh what is that called like assert your dominance i think is what is trying to come through here so you know just kind of wrestling you know trying to gain that upper hand here you guys but you know learning to pick and choose your battles um a little more you know not letting everything uh you know get to you is is something that i'm hearing here as well you know um if you are quick to anger you know um which is something that i'm kind of getting there you know to be slow to anger and quick to love you know maybe that's like a mantra you could adopt for yourself there this week up ahead all right the beginning of the week we do have this knight of pinnacles and like i said he is my favorite of the night you know he may be the slowest moving but you know that's okay because he doesn't miss anything you guys you know um he's able to see his surroundings clearly um and um you know putting his best foot forward you guys and not worrying uh, if he arrives last because he knows he's right on time and um you know when you do take your time you're less likely to burn out you guys is is something that i'm getting there from spirit as well so take your time don't let anyone rush you okay so let's see what the middle of the week is going to be like and you know we do have this three of pinnacles coming in now you know teaming up with someone and working together you know if if you do one thing that you know you're good at let them do the other that they're good at and um you know you're you're not going to be without help coming in here you guys you know even the even the bird is is coming in and and bringing in some goodness as well you know and it, it could be some good news even uh coming in for you at the middle of the week something that you've been waiting on maybe you've uh, been waiting for um a business partner 
partner business opportunity uh, to come your way and, and now it's like, yes, it's finally time. <laughs> All right, let's see what the end of the week. So we do have this Queen of Swords coming in for you. Swords is your energy air. It represents the power of the mind, you guys. And, you know, she has her sword of truth here and she'll do battle if she feels like she needs to but she always tries to handle things calmly you know cool collected um, before she does choose to go to battle but you know with her sword of truth she's able to cut through any lies any BS any deception that comes her way and you know all of the butterflies here they represent life and they represent transformation you know so um, if you don't like where you're currently at you know you can always make changes and you can do it slowly you guys take it one second at a time if that's all you can handle and you know the clouds of conflict conflict if I can even talk here you know you, we've already seen that there's some conflict going on um, they are going to part you guys you know it's, it's not forever it's a temporary you know situation and the Sun is already trying to uh, shine already trying to bring uh, some warmth and and shed light shed some truth on whatever it is that's going on there all right let's see what the weekend has in store and we have this nine of wands so um, you know sitting sitting back you know taking stock you know um, contemplating and coming up with a with a new plan and you know relying that someone has your back you guys and it could very well be this person that you're going to team up with so you know you have eyes all around you you guys watching out watching over you and um, while you're sitting there thinking and and contemplating you know you might as well do a little rest as well you know uh, let your batteries recharge and for what you need to learn we have the ace of cups coming in so you know focusing on on yourself pouring back into yourself a little bit more here you guys um, aces are all about new beginnings and new opportunities uh, being made available to you and you know just like the moon we ebb and flow we have highs and lows you know whether it's our thoughts or our emotions or um, our own inner fire you know there's times it may not be blazing as high as we would like it to and you know if you're if if you're pouring out and pouring out and pouring out you know um, at some point you will end up depleting yourself and you'll need to rehydrate you'll need to um, start pouring back into yourself again you guys or there's just not going to be anything left and you know self-care self-love you guys it's not selfish it's vital and it's important all right Aquarius these are your messages for this week up ahead I hope you enjoyed them if you did please leave me a comment and let me know I love hearing from you guys um, make sure you smash the heck out of that like button that old thumbs up button you know give it the old razzle dazzle pizzazzle there Make sure you tap that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new content such as this. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I would love to have you become a part of this beautiful, wonderful, amazing spirit tribe. I hope you have an amazing week up ahead. From the bottom of my heart, I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. And I want to say thank you, blessed be, namaste, and goodbye.